Join us at our first Michelin star restaurant, Mr. Jew's, run by exec chef Brandon Jew, which happens to be in our very own backyard at the Bay Area. Reviving an anchor of San Francisco's Chinatown, the mood is set with festive red lanterns and vibrant murals, particularly at Bruce Lee. We visited on a Wednesday evening to a relaxed and casual after work and family friendly crowd, entered through a beautifully dimly lit bar, and the restaurant opens up to a large, elegant dining room filled with warm natural light and spacious tables and booths. They have a seasonal menu with these lovely personal touches, like family photos or the ubiquitous double happiness card to celebrate guests' special occasions. The energy was bustling, but our attentive and super friendly waiter, Jordan, took good care of us. We started the evening off with some specialty cocktails. First up, Joy, which is their twist on a margarita. Despite the chili, it was not spicy, but had a balanced, heated finish. The Eternity tastes like a lighter martini with the shellfish oil sitting atop like a full moon. Unfortunately, the oil was all that was left by itself at the end of the drink and wasn't that pleasant to finish. Carl chose the fecundity purely for its name, not because he knew what it meant, but how fun the word was to say. It's reminiscent of an old fashioned with a pleasant amount of smokiness and none of that harshness. We opened with a very summery snack, the Kashiwase White Peach, a refreshing salad of plump peach segments, whole verbena leaves, peach sap jelly, and hazelnut. The peach sap jelly created almost a childhood candy feel, and while the whole leaves and chunks of peach were visually appealing, they didn't seem to come together all that well. Next, we had to try the morel mushroom cheung fun, as cheung fun is one of our favorite dishes. We were expecting a more mushroom incorporated dish, but again, the elements were very separate. The fun was on a thicker side, but had a great soft chew. And we were wanting more mushroom umami depth, but still enjoyed the dish. We followed with the chicken dirty fried rice. There were some great textural pieces with the okra, corn, and crispy chicken skin. The sha cha sauce and the chicken skin had a lot of flavor, but we were surprised by the seemingly lack of wok hay on the rice. The Taiwanese style eggplant was a table favorite. Light chili heat on the eggplant, very tender even with the skin on. Excellent wok hay flavor and a balanced sauce that you didn't need rice to accompany. The highlight is the fried garlic chips, which didn't have the usual bitterness and almost seemed pickled and well-rounded. The most underrated dish at Mr. Jew's is their mouth-watering Devil's Gulch Rabbit, which comes on an impressive platter with colorful presentation of whole nardello peppers and cilantro stems and what appeared to be a special play on liang pi in the form of jelly-like cute. The loin was super tender and Carl had fun eating the baby rabbit ribs. Overall, our experience at Mr. Jew's was delightful and we feel they've successfully translated it and elevated Chinese food and dining all while paying homage to its traditional roots and the Bay Area Chinese-American story. We look forward to our next visit. Where else should we go next? Look like you're having the time of your life. <laughs> <laughs> that looks sad. <laughs>